Okay. So, here's something interesting. I just wanted to um, make a blog entirely about it because I know I did a blog maybe a few months ago, maybe six months ago, about this problem I had with Amazon where I wanted a movie and I went ahead, I ordered it, and it was an imported movie. Even though on Amazon it was a normal picture of the, of the movie in English and this one was imported from a different country and this person put it underneath that movie and there was nothing I could do about it because they mentioned it later on in the small little comments. Um, it was like the last thing on there. Oh yeah! Different language. Subtitles in English. Lovely. Now I have a fun little thing to show you. Um, here, I'm going to show you guys exactly what I mean as proof. So I bought something on eBay. It took a while for it to get there. Um, I bought it on the 19th of July. So here's the thing. So let's see, I hope it's not too bright. See that? Supergirl 0, 1 through 4, plus variants signed by Loeb and Turner, or Turn. Okay. Anyone would see that it's Supergirl 0, numbers 1 through 4, plus variants, and they're signed. That's how I would see it. Hopefully, that's how you guys see it. And the webcam just got brighter. Strange. So, I got it today. So, let's start off somewhat numerically. Here's Supergirl. Hey, look. There's one signed. Now, I mentioned two, right? So, there's Supergirl. Looking for the signature. There's one, right? Right there. All right. Where is the other one? I don't see it. Do you? Nope. Just one. Okay. Now we move on to Supergirl number one. I'm gonna back off a little bit. Let's see. Look, there's one and oh, there's the other. All right. That's good. So we conclude that number zero and number one they have signatures. One's missing one, but I think that's... I guess... I don't know. Can I really make a deal about that? Supergirl so number two. Tell me when you find a signature. Let me zoom back. I don't see a signature on here. Do you? I don't. The other original, number two. Do you see a signature? I don't. Hmm. Variant number one, third edition prints. Do you see a signature? I do not. No signature. Another number one. I think this was the third print. Do you see? I don't. Let me pull back. That way you don't have to pan. I see no signature. And that small thing right there is on every single comic. Just in case you're wondering if that's a signature or not. Yeah, that's on every single comic. Or every single number one, my bad. Yeah, number one. It's on every single one of these. I have like four, so I can tell. There's another one. Look, where is that signature? Heck, we want two signatures, right? Because that's exactly what we wanted from eBay. That's exactly what I paid for on eBay. Two signatures per comic. Here's number three. It's in plastic because, well, that's what was holding all the other comics, but... There. Zoom out. Hmm. I don't see a signature. Yes, they're awesome covers, but still. There's the other one. The other side. I don't see a signature. So, that's it. So out of what they said, I only got two that were signed. One with a missing signature and the rest are all normal variants, not signed. Yeah. 
oh, by the way, I went back to get in contact with this person, and you know what? I didn't even touch the page yet. Here. Okay. We already showed you this, right? There you go. Variance, sign, blah, blah, blah. Hey, what's that say? No longer what? Registered. Wow. Isn't that nice? You know, that's always a good sign. Yeah. Hmm. The person sells you the product, and then they delete themselves from eBay, and the item is no longer there. So if I ever want to make a complaint, I can't. Well, now I have to go through PayPal and take it up with them, and that's what's going on right now. So what the hell? What do I do? I mean, I, yeah, I already made a complaint, and we're going to see if I can get my money back, but what normally happens? Obviously, they can't get in touch with them unless they have their email address that I'm not aware of. So what do we do? Or what do I do? We. Anyway. Yeah. Fun. By the way, this is the second time someone has actually tried to uh, screw me over on eBay. Uh, the first time I ever used eBay is when someone actually screwed me over. Um, you know that Spider-Man, the animated series, 1992? I think it's when it came out, 93? Well, someone had the entire thing on there. They were selling all the episodes. It's on like like a four disc DVD. Yeah, you know it's bootleg and everything, but you know what? Might as well take a shot. So I paid for it, like thirty six dollars, something like that. I get it, and guess what? <laughs> They're all crap. I mean really, really bad. You see how my web camera shows all these pixelated dots? That's nothing compared to what I had. These, it was like the VHS tape was chewed up and then recorded on there. That's what it seemed like. Of course, the person did the same thing. This person deleted their account, the item, I couldn't get in contact with them, and there's basically nothing I could do. Uh, I don't know back then if this whole entire um, discrepancy thing was available, but back then I didn't really know too much about eBay. So that was fun. Anyway. If you guys have any stories you'd love to share with me about this wonderful place called eBay and how sometimes it doesn't exactly work out for you, please let me know. I'd love to hear about it. And yes, I'll let you guys know what these guys say or if I ever get my money back or anything else. Yeah, not exactly the blog you're looking for or hoping for, but <laughs> at least it's something. Alright, talk to you guys later. Bye.